how many dogs are there on a Copper Basin 300 team? It's a 300 mile race, how many dogs are there? Typically, most 300 mile races you start out with 12 dogs, which is the case in the Copper Basin. Is there a big difference between running a 12 dog team and running a 16 dog team? Uh, you know, it's not that much different. Uh, uh, you just got a little more power when you run 16 dogs. Uh, but you can't tell in much difference, really. Um, I mean, they can they go just as fast. Uh, they pull you just as hard. Um, it seems like they just won't be able to go as long uh, at 12 dogs versus 16. And dropping a dog with 12 dogs does it make a much bigger difference than with 16 dropping a dog? Uh, not really. If we had eight really healthy dogs, you can't tell the difference between eight dogs and 12 dogs, really. Uh, so, what do you have in mind when you pick a, a Copper Basin 300 mile race of dog? For 300 mile races or 200 or, or 100, uh, the intermediate distance races, uh, it, it comes down to speed uh, versus I did rod where it doesn't necessarily come down to speed, it comes down to long, uh, to endurance. In order to win, you have to go faster than anyone else. Uh, and I did rod, you, you may have to go longer than anyone else. Uh, so it's a combination I did right. So uh, speed is the main thing. And this experience in the Copper Basin, does that add up for them too? I think previous experience in any race helps tremendously. However, uh, since we are since we want speed so much in this race, uh, as the dogs age, uh, as we do, we get slower. So it's a fine line of uh, when to put in these uh, two-year-olds, yearlings, and hope they come around in this race in order to win, or do you stick with the the old, uh, the older dogs that know what to do, but they just start they start getting a slow. little bit slower. And if you're slower, you're not going to win uh, one of these 300 mile. Well, do you think you'll have any rookies on your team in the Copper Basin? Uh, I do. I do think I'm going to have some rookies. Anytime that I normally do really well in Copper Basin, I always have a few. Uh, rookies and normally they they're they're standouts at the end of the race. They said, "Holy cow, that is a good dog." Sure. Uh, so right now there's there's a few potential uh, rookies in uh, two year olds, um, two year olds and one three year old, uh, possibly. So and hopefully they'll be standouts. But uh, every day changes. Uh, in that uh, for my team, I want to have the healthiest team possible. Uh, no one with any injuries, and I would like to, I'd like to have a mixture of uh, ma mature dogs and a few youngsters that uh, that uh, don't know when to quit and never seem to get tired. I mean, they can rest 10 minutes and they seem like they're ready to go again. Whereas, uh, like me, you know, I, I could I could use a little bit more rest than that. Um, but these youngsters, it is fun to watch them mature. So it is a challenge, and actually, we'll put some of these dogs on these 300 mile races to win these 300 mile races that aren't necessarily uh, the best dogs for Iditarod. Uh, meaning, uh, you will, Allie and I both, we have two teams in Iditarod. Uh, some of these dogs that are that go really hard and really fast and lope a lot, uh, she does not want to take in her uh, premier team uh, because they'll burn themselves out. Uh, so I do try to take dogs that lope more and uh, in these 300 mile races because loping is going to get you down the trail faster and they they're only going for a couple of days here so most dogs can can deal with that versus the thousand miles where you go day after day after day it kind of grinds on them they start getting a few injuries like the lopers if they loped for 500 miles without stopping then chances are they're going to have a lot better chance of having an injury versus a dog that, that trotted so because of the strange weather we've had and the lack of snow this season, so this is, it's kind of strange to be having the first race of the season be the Copper Basin. It is. Usually we have, we have, we have two or maybe even three races before this that can kind of, it would give us a heads up on how, I mean, each individual dog is doing. Uh, like some of these two-year-olds we, we, we may take on the race, we would already know about these two-year-olds. Uh, if we would have had our normal uh, races earlier, but now it's uh, it's a little bit more difficult. But uh, especially because we have three teams in uh, in this Copper Basin, it's going to it's going to help our Iditarod chan uh, chances. It's just going to up it tremendously.
because we're you're running three teams. You're running three 36, teams. 36 dogs. We're which running is, 36 dogs. Which is actually more than you need for two teams in the Iditarod. Correct. Right. So hopefully that we can get through all this and keep on some good training. We'll have uh, 32 really healthy, uh, good dogs for Iditarod.